So we have uh, a new upload experience. I'll show that in a second. Uh, we already saw the jobs view. And one of the cool features is users or, or really more authors can manage their own repositories. If they put a, a repository up there, they create one, they can actually delete it. They can delete workspaces out of it. Okay. So let's take a look at that. And I'm gonna I'm gonna tempt fate and go back to oh I know the result 500 because nah, I restarted the server and let's log in let's log in as an author so an author has slightly more permissions than I like that front page too so it's not just you know so it tells you what's going yeah. on like gives you resources on how you can find more information and things like that absolutely and you can see the latest FME server articles to see we've got Android apps okay. wow too. look at that yeah okay. Uh, don't have all the permissions here. We don't have security. We don't have services. But I do notice there's something called schedules and notifications. That's right. So we will talk about those in a bit. But let's jump into. Let's jump into. I want to try. I want to make sure the server's running. Yeah, that's a good idea. So I'm going to run this job again. And, and it should finish. Okay. So okay, it did a, finish. Just yes. needed a reboot. I took the machine out of the office and and, and uh, it uh, paused lost it and, its license. Yeah. Okay. So let's show the data upload. The new data upload experience. Come into repositories, and oh, I don't have it on this. So let's switch to the admin user. Okay. You have to excuse me. I uh, only allowed the admin to see the demos uh, repository. Look at that. that. Yeah, that kind of yeah. proves the, the, the yeah. security, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In there we go. We want to come in, and we're going to validate some data. So some people have probably seen this demo before. Basically, we've got some, some data coming in from the field. Yep. We want to validate it and provide a report immediately back to the user. Oh, OK. So previously, previously, this was not as fun. So let it me, was, yes. Let me go and get my data that I want to upload. OK. And my data is into Deep Dive. There it is. It's actually down here. Dem demos. All right, here we go. I've got some data that I know won't pass validation, but sure. that's what I want to want to work with first. So yep. here's my data, guys. You're gonna drag, just drag and drop, just you like see that? that. Yeah, I just dropped it on there. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty. Um, that's pretty hard to go wrong there. Yeah, it's really. It's, and, and do I drop it anywhere on the page? Anywhere on the page. So I don't even have to be in that section. I just drop it on just the page. Just drop it on the page. Boom! And it's up boom! It goes in the right spot. That's great. So then I, I come along here. I basically I select that. And for those people who haven't seen this, this uh, who are new to server, uh, this is uh, one of the main uses of FME server is to validate right, information. Right, 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 right. So you could imagine you you, you could imagine a web page on a site, and mm -hmm. people within an organization they have to do QA on their data, um, and they just drag and drop files onto this and click run, and away they go. And and if, and this is just an example of yeah. a report you could get back. Exactly. Oh. Not a very pretty report, but it is a report. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I want to show one more thing. And here. what's that drop-down box? Report only when validation fails. What's report uh, always? I, okay. There's a, it's kind of an option. I wouldn't sure. worry too much about okay. that option. But it just shows that um, you, you can have different. You, you can create different options through published parameters. And again, that's coming directly from the workspace. It is configured yeah. by the workspace. <clears> so another way is maybe uh, I don't have my data zipped up. I want to add the good data now, the data that I've gone and fixed up. Yeah. Before we can only pick one file. Right. With HTML5, with a new interface, pick multiple files. Up they come. Wow. And just like that, you select your data. We click run. And now it tells us that the, the data is passed, and then we can load it. And then it we in. can load it into our master data set if exactly. we wanted to. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So that's, that's that. I also want to show, um, let's log in as an author now. Okay. I want to show, so we're, we're logged in as a user, but let's log in as an author. And I'll show you how you can manage your. And to be clear, the only reason we're logging in as different users here is to show that that different users have different permissions. You, know, you would only log in as one user, and you'd be set up to have all the permissions you need. Exactly. Yeah. So if I come in here, perhaps I um, want to get rid of Project X, or maybe I just want to get rid of this workspace. I can now do that without having to be some sort of admin or, or have a special interface. I just click a small thing, but it remove. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I can come back, yeah. and I can remove Project X completely. Very good. 